Hello, this is Not Your Chem Tutor, and in this video, we are given a sample of sodium that reacts completely with 0.450 kilograms of chlorine, forming 742 grams of sodium chloride. What mass of sodium reacted? Also, we are given here a balanced chemical reaction. So this is a stoichiometry problem. So if you're still not familiar with stoichiometry, you can watch my video. I, I will put a link in the description box. If you already know what stoichiometry is, then we can proceed with the problem. So there are actually two solutions in solving this problem. And I will teach you both solutions. For the first solution, you can actually start with this given the 0 0.450 kilograms of chlorine. So let's do that. We are given 0 0.450 kilograms of chlorine. The first step you need to do is to convert kilograms into grams. So how do we do that? We know that one kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. So, the kilograms would cancel out. Now you have grams of chlorine. Now that you have the grams, you need to convert that into moles. How do we convert grams into moles? We need the molar mass of chlorine. So let's solve for the molar mass of chlorine. So if you look at your periodic table, you will see that the atomic mass of chlorine is 35.45 grams per mole. So that's for one chlorine atom. But since we are solving for Cl2, there are two chlorine atoms. So for Cl2, that's 35.45 times 2. So 35 times 45 times 2, that is equal to 70.9 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of Cl2. So that means 1 mole of Cl2 is equivalent to 70.9 grams of Cl2. So, the grams of Cl2 would cancel out. Now you have moles of Cl2. Okay. If you read the problem, the problem is asking for sodium. So we need to convert moles of Cl2 into moles of sodium. And how do we do that? We need to use the balanced chemical reaction. So according to the balanced chemical reaction, for every 1 Cl2, there are 2 sodium atoms, 2 moles of sodium. I repeat, according to the balanced reaction, for every 1 mole of Cl2, there are two moles of sodium. So the moles of Cl2 would cancel out. Now you have moles of sodium. And finally, since the problem is asking for the mass of sodium, we will convert moles into grams. So how do we do that? We need the molar mass of sodium. And if you look at your periodic table, sodium is about 22.99 grams per mole. So one mole of sodium is equivalent to 22.99 grams of sodium. So the moles would cancel out and finally you have grams of sodium. So this will be your final unit, grams of sodium. 
Now you just have to solve this using your calculator. So we have 0 0.450 times 1,000 over 1 times 1 over 70.9 times 2 over 1 times 22.99 over 1. And the answer to this question is 292 grams of sodium. So that is the first solution. Now let's try the other solution. So if you read the problem, we are given here 742 grams of sodium chloride. So we can actually start with that given. 742 grams of sodium chloride. So first step, you need to convert grams into moles. So we need the molar mass of sodium chloride. So if you look at your periodic table, Na is 22.99. CL is 35.45. So if you want the molar mass of NaCl, you just had you just have to add 22.99 plus 35.45. And that will give you 58.44 grams per mole. That means one mole of NaCl is equivalent to 58.44 grams of NaCl. So the grams of NaCl would cancel out. Now you have moles of NaCl. And again, the problem is asking for sodium. So we need to convert NaCl to Na or sodium. Again, by looking at the balanced chemical reaction. According to the balanced chemical reaction, for every two NaCl's, there are two Na's. So, you put that ratio, two moles of NaCl, two moles of Na. So the moles of NaCl would cancel out. Now you have the moles of Na. And same as what we did above, we will convert moles into grams using the molar mass of sodium. One mole of sodium is 22.99 grams of sodium. So the moles of sodium would cancel. Now you have grams of sodium as your final unit. If you solve this in your calculator, 742 times 1 divided by 58.44 times 2 divided by 2 times 22.99 divided by 1, you will get 292 grams of sodium. The same answer that we got from the first solution. So again, there are two solutions. You can only you can you can you can choose either one of them. It will still give you the same answer. So the answer to this problem is 292 grams of sodium.